All right, continuing to power through the May 2015 papers. This is paper two, time zone two for IBSL maths. Question six, Ramiro walks to work each morning. During the first minute, he walks 80 metres. In each subsequent minute, he walks 90% of the distance walked during the previous minute. Strange, yes, but does sound familiar to us, doesn't it? It is a geometric sequence. The distance between his house and work is 660. Ramiro leaves his house at 8 a.m. Has to be at work by 8.15. Explain why he will not be at work on time. So we have minute one. His distance walked is 80 metres. Minute two. Distance walked is 0 0.9 by 80 metres, which is, of course, 72 metres etc. This is a geometric sequence with u1 equaling 80 and the ratio equaling 0 0.9. Now interestingly there's a few ways you can do this. You want to just find how many minutes will it take for him to make 660 meters or you could just say, he's got 15 minutes, how far does he get? Either way, we are going to deal with the geometric series, or the sum of the sequence, aren't we? The sum of the first n terms, what is it? It's u1, r to the n minus 1, but I'm going to use the other form, aren't I? Because the ratio is less than 1, so let's make that u1. 1 minus r to the n divided by 1 take r. And let's say I just want to know the sum of the first 15 terms because that's the first 15 minutes. That would make sense. So distance walked in 15 minutes would be what I'll be writing here in 15 minutes is equal to S15. What is that equal to? So it's U180. 1 minus 0 0.9 to the power of 15 divided by 1 minus 0 0.9. Calculator time. Here we go. Oh, that's our last question. Let's go back to our menu. Just number one here. That's all we need. Uh, I want to write this out in a nice way, so I'm just going to go 0.9 to the power of 15 first. That's going to give me that. 1 minus that previous answer, thank you very much. Multiplied by 80. That's numerator done. Divided by, well, 1 minus 0.9, you know it's 0.1. And we've got 635.287. So it's approximately, and that's also an approximate answer, approximately 635 metres. And then you write a nice little sentence. Uh, Ramiro walks 635 metres in the first 15 minutes. Therefore, he does not make it to work, which is 660 metres away. There you go. The other way, of course, was to let that equation equal 660 and solve for the value of n. It's a lot more complicated. Don't be so hard on yourselves make it easy. All right, guys, not too bad that one. Catch you in question seven. Bye.